Good morning. Um, what I found interesting about this week's module is really the scientific method and the whole testing process that scientists and companies have to go through to test their hypotheses and the extensive testing that's go through to get the hypothesis approved and reviewed and certified and published. And I always find it interesting that a whole group gets a placebo and they don't even get the drug. You may act like they got it and they don't know. And they really got nothing. It's usually interesting to me. Um, I work on a cardiac floor, so I always find it, I find it interesting that no cardiac patients are allowed added salt or sodium because it affects affects the heart and the body, creating excess fluid which around the heart and lungs, which makes the heart work harder and the lungs work harder. So patients will come in and they'll be puffy and they'll give be given Lasix and they'll drop 50 pounds in a couple of days of water weight. And it's insane to me that they either have that much salt in their diet or are, their bodies can't process the fluid that much that it drops off that much. So it's always interesting that nobody's allowed salt on my floor at the VA. <clears throat> um, question that I have is since there's so much research bias and manipulation and marketing and trying to sell companies to sell their products, why does the government even allow for companies and corporations to sell products to us or people that they know are harmful? Why do we allow essentially companies to harm its own citizens or humans? Um, the only answer I can come up with that is it's just a circle. America needs companies to they need people to buy their products to help with the economy and it's really a free world to an extent where we are allowed to take in whatever we want to our bodies to an extent if it's harmful or not we are there to make the decision so I think that's it have a good day